that when I went to Lamar in uh, 2007 to be the head coach there, got into a couple of seasons and uh, Yannick Denson showed up on campus and, and wanted to come over and volunteer and be a student assistant. And I saw him playing basketball in the rec one night and just said, yeah, and I talked, went over and introduced myself and we got to know each other and he said he wanted to become a coach. He said he's very interested in that and so I got him to get a male practice squad team together for me. And that male practice squad was very vital to us as we got better as a team at Lamar University. And uh, Yannick, I call him Yak, he helped me do that for four years and helped us uh, win more ball games than they've ever won at Lamar during that time frame. So very definite asset as we moved that program forward. Interesting story, I was actually in the rec playing pickup, um, playing against some of the basketball girls and they were looking for male practice squad players and me having the skill I guess that I had, um, <laughs> some of them asked me, uh, did you want to be a part of a male practice squad and I was like sure, you know, anything that helps someone get better at the game. From there, he went to first practice, uh, meeting Coach Tuwell actually face to face, him asking me what I wanted to pursue my career in while I was in school. Actually that was in the fall of 2010 I believe and then uh, spring of 2010, um, Tuwell asked me to be a part of the staff as a student assistant. From there, our relationship grew. Uh, that same season, they won a conference championship, went to the NCAA tournament, and ever since then, we just had a, a really good connection, and he always told me I was gonna be a great coach one day. There's a, there's a big difference. Um, as a student assistant, you actually get a chance to sit back and learn all the things that, that, that need to be done for you as a, as, a, as a coach, but now being in that role is for you to do. There's a little bit of time for learning, but there's a lot more preparation, uh, time consuming, scouts, things like that, and just preparing day in and day out to uh, give you all for these girls and the program to be successful. He knows uh, both defense and offense. He calls and uh, develops our uh, sideline out-of-bounds plays, our underneath the basket out of bounds plays. He's always looking for ways and he is my video coordinator. He edits a lot of scouting reports and he just does an excellent job for me and he's really stepped up. Well, uh, Tim Will's always been a great mentor of mine. Um, he's given me lots of tips and things as I grew in my coaching career. Um, he actually helped me get the Whisper Christian assistant job that I had and also the Legacy Christian uh, the job that I had. And uh, he just always told me that, you know, to get at this level, you need a little bit of experience. I got that. I've been to three state, state championships. Um, my last one I won before I left the high school ranks. I mean, right after that, Tim Will always kept in touch and we always would have, you know, random conversations. And one of our random conversations actually led to him being interested in me coming to UTRGV as an assistant. He's, he's basically, if, if I had to list the sons that I've adopted in my past 30 years, 40 years as a coach, he would be in there. You know, me and Tua have a, a really good relationship because he calls me his adopted son. So, you know, saying that, I look up to him as a father first before anything, and then, you know, just not want to let somebody like that down. You know, I, I take pride in everything that I do. Um, I put my best foot forward every day. Even if it comes off of lack of sleep or being sick, I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna make sure I get my job done.